Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to CAT 180 Revit Architecture. So in my last video, I showed you that uh, the curtain walls, the reshaping curtain walls and the door, how you can fix the door. So in this uh, part, I'm gonna show you about the wall sweep, okay? So you can see the window in a, in a picture or in a video and uh, I just uh, draw a wall sweep and how you will just draw it then keep watching and before starting I just uh, say that uh, please subscribe if you like our videos and uh, uh, please visit cat180.com that's the official website and please visit my another youtube channel cat180 autocad okay so guys keep watching So this is uh, the you can see the project. Okay. So we are going to do the wall sweep. Okay. So I just show you for the for one window. Okay. Wall sweep is basically what we are uh, just uh, using it. Uh, it is basically the chaja we can say. Uh, okay and uh, the projection you also say that the projection above the window okay and so uh, the projection because the projection part uh, you just uh, draw with the extrusion if you are not able to do with the extrusion then you can draw with the wall sweep so wall sweep basically a basic thing and uh, it requires some uh, prospects that's a metric profile and you have to draw um, uh, on that profile so that's uh, the little bit a long type of thing okay so let me do first of all uh, you just go to the wall okay and you can see the wall sweep the wall sweep you just click and you can see the bar yeah I just put it here okay I just put it here and right and escape. You can see the ball sweep and and very good. So now what we are going to do we just uh, <coughs> click on the wall sweep, just edit type, you have to duplicate change a name that's a tree r a c k track okay right i just give a name a track okay okay then okay now now go to the application menu new family okay uh, so mm, i just do uh, with the family so click here with the family and you just search for the metric profile where is the metric profile yeah yeah i just got it right so the <clears throat> positive negative both sides of uh, x and y axis you can find uh, in this drawing okay and uh, after clicking the metric profile uh, you just uh, see that thing okay so right now what we are going to do you can see there's a line option lots of options is upper uh, bar you can see there okay so just uh, line click on line and so I just give it five hundred of it. Right. So five hundred after that the design whatever design you want you can. If you so it is little bit longer, okay. Right now just delete that and so it will check it again you just draw a filter and it 
So in many other cases, uh, what uh, all guys are doing that that is the uh, they just leave that portion. Okay, and if you are if you are leaving this portion, your drawing is still incomplete. Okay, so what uh, thing does your drawing just completed? First of all, click this portion and close the loop. You have to close your loop. In every drawing in Revit, uh, whenever you just uh, make your own drawing in a profile or anything, so you have to close the loop. The loop. If you are not going to close the loop, your drawing is totally incomplete and not going to do anything. Okay. So right now, just here and after that, save, give a name. I just uh, give a name R A R, right? So let it be what is this and uh, save RAR you have to remind it RAR okay right so now you having a load into project option so just click here load into project option right go to the right click here you have an edit option RAR here right that's yours okay. material part you just uh, choose your own material I just say um, say it uh, in um, our previous videos and uh, still it is uh, I'm not going to do a video on that uh, just a little bit of time to make to do that video okay so now now just apply okay You can shift it towards upside, okay, and by this drag and sweep, you just drag it, right? You just drag it. little bit yeah little bit. you can see there is a projection above the window so that's the profile we just draw okay so this profile right you can see here is the <coughs> x section in this point you can see the x section this is the y section this is the minus X section is a minus minus sorry this is a minus X section this is the minus Y section right so in the midpoint of those zero zero point I just draw a the sweep right if you are doing the same and uh, if you uh, just take in the sweep uh, randomly in your drawing then the same changes are also be happen to other sweeps also right you can see so here you just right right now if you are just modify your moments uh, sweep so just click the modify return you can see the blue part both the ends having modified it so this modification is um, standardized by the revit okay so if you are doing a triangle projection so that's uh, the thing is changing differently and in this case it will changing straight i thought yes you can see click on it just click on it that's the modification right just escape and you can see the modification so in this side also it will take in with the front side like a, like a front side right so that's the modification and that's all 
so you remember one thing that is uh, when uh, you are just uh, draw the wall sweep uh, just uh, for the different sweep uh, make sure you just click the restart sweep okay uh, like I just that this is, this is okay you can see the restart wall sweep okay so the restart wall sweep So this is the way and in this way you just uh, draw whatever your um, design of your projection is you just draw in this way okay now after that I just uh, tell you about the very basic idea about uh, the reveal okay so what is the wall reveal wall reveal is very simple that is uh, you just need a portion that is a uh, pipe through your wall or anything do you want to design differently so you just use that wall ripple okay so i just use that here okay. and if you need the vertical same as the horizontal is so restart ripple okay you can see the vertical portion is here there's a horizontal there's a vertical so vertical Okay, you can see there is a portion just with the pants. So, this is the especially if you are putting an insert or you can give a pipe or anything else for the design purpose. The reveal is using for okay. So right now this is the video about the sweep and reveal. And uh, if you like my video, please subscribe and uh, don't forget to visit the cat180.com. That's the official website and I put the blog on it. So make sure you just go there. Okay. So bye bye. Take care. See you in the next video.